Hey, unlimited men and women. This is Big Dave coming back at you from beautiful Greece. Take a look at this. Can it get any better? <laughs> hey, today's video, I want to talk a little bit about framing yourself. What does that mean? How do you frame yourself? And uh, what's the results of framing yourself? Uh, and how this, once it's accomplished, will attract women naturally and effortlessly. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so let's talk about framing. What does that mean? So building that foundation in order to uh, know who you are, know what you like, what you don't like, and understanding that that is the most attractive quality you could possibly have uh, to a woman. Uh, being a strong man is, is necessary. Uh, but you can't get to that point until you understand yourself and in, until you understand what your likes and dislikes are. I see time and time again guys that uh, end up buying a lot of stuff to impress women. Uh, and the truth is most women can't tell a, a tag watch from an Armani watch and the price difference between the two. Uh, most women don't care if you have some Gucci shoes on or some Calvin Klein shoes on and or just some some old shoes that just they're clean but look good they, they they don't care and they truthfully most of the time can't tell the difference so the guy with the big house and the the nice car you know if you're doing that stuff for yourself that's one thing but if you're doing that to impress women and try to attract women uh, the quality of women that you're going to get uh, is going to be much different from the quality of women that you actually want to attract. Um, there's always going to be beautiful women out there that are gold diggers or that uh, really care about the money and not the person. But that's a trap that you'll end up falling into um, that could be rather expensive and time consuming and emotionally draining and it only ends in one place. Uh, for example, if you go out to the bar uh, or to a club and uh, you have two or three friends with you and you decide, boom, I'm buying a bottle, uh, I got bottle service, I got the girls coming over with the, with the nice skimpy shirt, you know, shorts on and they're going to you know, light the, the flares, the candles and come over and serve me a bottle and I'm doing this and every girl in the club is going to be looking. Well, some of the girls in, in the club are going to be looking and some are going to be attracted to that. But um, there's a huge difference between your intent and that really comes out. So I've done, I've done that. I've done the bottle service. I've done the, the, you know, the being that guy in the club. But at, at the same time, I, I did it because I'm enjoying that. And that's something that I, I wanted to do with my friends or for my friends. Uh, and I, I could give a shit less what woman was looking, what girl was looking, and how she felt about it. And when it comes time for me to approach a girl in the club in that setting, uh, my mannerisms, my attitude is much different than the guy that did it for the reason of attracting, attracting a, a girl in that club. And the girl in the club that's going to enjoy that... Um, is the girl that's going to financially drain you. She, you, you come up to her and uh, she realizes either A, she's a, a, a good quality woman that has some values and is extremely hot, um, or not extremely hot, but she has some great values. And uh, you walk up to her and she's going to get a sense of you and who you are and how you are right away. Um, and so she won't be attracted to you if you're that type of guy that is uh, doing it to show off or to try to uh, create that value, that, that external value. Uh, but if you're the guy that, hey, I'm just having fun, she's going to sense that and she's going to pick up that on that and she's going to realize that, okay, this guy is just, uh, just, just having fun, just enjoying himself and he's not doing it to try to attract uh, the women in the bar or the club. 
So, and that goes for every aspect of what you spend uh, your money on and how your attitude is uh, uh, on an outward or inward appearance. So, extrinsically or internally, uh, intrinsically, uh, what you do really matters and it comes across. It's displayed uh, pretty quickly when a, a quality woman meets you. And the difference is the, the, the woman that hasn't really grounded herself or understands herself or just has said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get what I can out of guys because I'm young, hot, uh, and that's it. Uh, which, you know, I won't, I won't say right, wrong, or indifferent because it, it takes two to tango. Guys are doing it. Uh, so if women want to exploit that, then they get to. Uh, my goal is to have less men walking on the planet that uh, are exploited by women uh, like this. You know what I mean? So, so setting that that foundation, setting that ground, or framing yourself means you've you you've done the, the homework on yourself. You, you know who you are, how you are, why you are, and you're okay with it. You're happy with it. Uh, you framed yourself to, to the point where you've tried things that you do like, you've tried things that you don't like, and uh, you keep the things that you do, and get rid of the things you don't. But you have something there to base something on, you have that foundation. So, you know, if you've always wanted to skydive, if you've always wanted to travel, if you've always wanted to read more, those things are important, and you, you don't, when you meet a woman, you don't need all these pickup lines that I can give you a million of uh, in order to keep the conversation going because fuck you you have something to say you've you've been there you've done that and you're gonna continue to do that and boy passion is an attractive quality in men and women uh, extremely attractive so if you have a conversation with someone and go yeah and you know what I'm gonna start taking uh, uh, saxophone lessons next month boy that is a tr that's a that's a big deal that's an attractive quality because it shows that you're not stagnant, you're not complacent in your life, and you're uh, seeking to improve yourself one way or another. And those things matter. Uh, so, you know, building that foundation from ground up is extremely important because the type of women that you're going to attract when you don't uh, are either good quality women that are going to figure out that you're just a bunch of fucking pickup lines that you read in some book, and once date two or three happens, they figure out that you have no substance, no value, and don't know yourself. Or, or the other option is you end up meeting a woman that's going to deal with your insecurities and how unqualified of a person you are because you have money or because you can do something for them in return uh, to elevate their status. So anyways, I hope this video helped a little bit. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, check out all the, the material, all the information, all the seminars that we're offering because uh, they're really important. They're really going to help you form that foundation, that frame that you, you have to have in order to meet the right women, in order to meet the quality women. Because uh, I'll tell you from personal experience, waking up next to a woman that you don't like sucks. Peace. I give you my heart.